Yeah, yeah. Uh, cause I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. So tell me, girl, I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. So tell me, girl, I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. Yeah, you ain't gotta say shit. She went down, down, down. Yeah, so you ain't gotta say shit. Yeah, say, cause I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. So tell me, girl, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way, tell a girl I'm on the way, shit, I'm on the way, yeah. Don't no matter where you are, cause I'm on the way, yeah. I'm on the way, yeah. Had a conversation with Shorty, never met before, damn, she looking good. Damn, she she looking had a homegirl with her, but conversation led to another one. Oh, I'm not talking to both like them, I don't really know who to choose, what's up though? What's up? Niggas all on them trips, we be spending up them chips. Yeah. Pulling up in them whips. Late nights we would do. You know we was rocking, we turned up all night. Yeah. Scratches on my back, ain't no pussy's ass. Yeah. Every time she around, it's going down. Yeah. We all in the hotel room, scratches on my back, man. We on the wall. Niggas call downstairs like, man, this noise can't take too much more. Give it to me one time, one time. One time, one time. I'm about to beat it up. Just Open the list so I can eat it up. Cause I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. She tell me, girl, I'm on the way. She I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. She tell me, girl, I'm on the way. She I'm on the way. Yeah, you ain't gotta say shit. She went down, down, down. Yeah, you ain't gotta say shit. Yeah, cause I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. She tell it, girl, I'm on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. I'm on the way, tell a girl I'm on the way, shit, I'm on the way, yeah. Don't no matter where you are, cause I'm on the way, yeah. I'm on the way. Water whipping with the diamonds, goddamn me, you know that she shining. Know that she yelling the shit and I was just trying to hit her up with perfect timing. Yeah, I know she want to live again, she was all on the live again. Shit, she so live again. Jump up on the pole, do it real quick, make a couple dollars in. Girl, I know you been on this here, girl. Time, time, time. And I know this thing happened all over your mind, mind, mind. We finna get it in, yeah. This is her favorite song, her and a friend, yeah. Matter of fact, y'all both can go open that door, y'all can come in, yeah. Me and my niggas, we got a hundred thousand wrapped in rubber bands, thrown it up. Couple of bitches checking us out, shit. You know we don't give a fuck. I need another one, purple and double cuffs, shit. I need another one, tell them to pull it up. Cause I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way Say tell me girl I'm on the way, say I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way Say tell me girl I'm on the way, say I'm on the way, yeah You ain't gotta say shit, uh, down, 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 yeah Say you ain't gotta say shit, yeah, say I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way Say tell it girl I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way, yeah, I'm on the way Tell it girl I'm on the way, say I'm on the way, yeah Don't no matter where you are, cause I'm on the way, yeah I'm on the way, yeah. What's good, people? What's good, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Dope Content Podcast, hosted by me, K. Lou, aka Dope. Hope y'all having a good day. Hope y'all having a good day. Thank you to the people that's watching live on Twitch. Um. To the people that watch on YouTube, we have reached a thousand on YouTube. Shout out to that. We dropped down to nine nine nine, and then we got back to a thousand with somebody else subscribing. I guess yesterday, and they sent the message like, "Hey, what do I do now?" <laughs> I was like, "I guess I'll send you a shirt or something, a dope content shirt or something." Shout out to everybody that's listening on Apple and Spotify. Much love to y'all. So before we get into the thing today, I want to let you know that Dope Content, this episode of the Dope Content Podcast is brought to you by crazy LA Clipper fans who do not know how to take that L and start fighting each other in the stands.
That was hilarious. Yes, sir. That's the last Clippers game of that arena. I think it was game six that they lost to Phoenix. And the fans, it's good. I guess it's good to have fans back because all I've been seeing and posting on my Facebook are fights. And I normally don't promote the fights, but this one was just hilarious to me. Cause and I'm gonna tell you why. Let's 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 pull it back up. Look at the first guy right here. Look at the punches that this guy is throwing. Do y'all see that? <laughs> let's let's go back. Let's look at these punches. Who is he trying to hit? Is he trying to hit the guy in the black, or is he trying to hit the guy behind him? Let's let's see. Who who is he trying to hit right there? Y'all let me know who you think he's trying to hit. Is he trying to hit the guy in the black, or is he trying to hit the guy in the blue behind him? <laughs> and then this part was funny too. Watch these swings, hitting him with a brick can. And look, these are Clippers fans versus Clippers fans. This not Clippers fans versus Phoenix fans. These are Clippers fans versus Clippers fans. They mad because they lost, got eliminated, which, I mean, they haven't made the finals, I don't think, ever in their history. So they should, they should be used to losing by now. But yeah, they going at it with each other, man. And these swings here. Oh, you got him on that one. The push. And that's the reason when you're at the when you're at an arena, you don't fight somebody that's standing above you in the stands. That reason alone right there. Cause they can easily just push you down just like this. Just hilarious, man. So I've been trying to figure out I watched this video a couple of times and I've been trying to figure out who is this the first guy swinging at is he trying to hit the guy in the black or the guy behind him he's swinging for his life <laughs> all right that's enough of that that's enough of that so uh Man, yeah, but the fans have been back. Ever since the fans came back, it's been nothing but fights. Nothing but fights. Um, at all sporting arenas. Not just basketball. It's been in um, UFC, of course. It's always fights in UFC crowds. Boxing crowds. It's always fights in boxing crowds. Uh, you got the FIFA crowd, which I haven't seen FIFA crowd, actually. I take that back. Um, baseball, definitely. I mean... Welcome back to America. I guess we back to our normal selves. <laughs> Fighting in the stands because our teams can't win a game. Typical America. Fighting in the stands. So, moving right along with the podcast. Let's get right on to the next thing. Jimmy Uso. Jonathan Fatu. His real name. Was arrested again Monday night for... DUI. And I normally don't talk wrestling stuff on these podcasts. I save it for the actual wrestling podcast, but since it's fresh, um, I didn't want to wait all the way till Sunday just to talk about it. We could bring it back up Sunday when we do it with darkness. But um, Jimmy Uso arrested, man. People making their jokes. They're laughing on social media. Uh, the people that's anti WWE making fun of this guy and I'm like it's not a laughing matter at this point because he was arrested twice in 2019 for DUI one time in Florida which is he lives in Florida in Pensacola and then one time when he got into it with the cops in Detroit so at this point it's not a laughing matter um, this guy has some type of issue going on uh, to make him do this it's some type of issue because right now his family is the top of the food chain in wwe and he just came back he just came back um roman his cousin which is actually his real life uncle news breaking news go look it up roman is actually his real life uncle uh, but his cousin 
is the heavyweight champion, the most talked about guy in WWE, the biggest star in WWE right now. His twin brother is, he didn't moved all the way up to the main event scene. He comes back and now he's put in the main event scene and he, he is married to one of the most beautiful women to ever, one of the most beautiful women to ever, you know, step foot in the WWE ring and she's doing her thing even though I want her to switch to the other show. Kids are fine. You'll think everything is going good for him and he's still, <laughs> he's still getting caught for DUI. And his third time since 2019, it's only 2021. So it's not good. It's not a laughing matter at this point. Something is wrong for him to keep doing this. And it, I feel like he's screwing himself out of his big opportunity in the company that he's been working for for years. Like he's in the main event picture and it's like every time he gets a push or a tag title belt or something, this happens. We get news like this. So maybe he can't handle the spotlight like that i don't know maybe it's just bad timing i don't know like i don't know what's going on with him but i pray everything is okay with um jimmy uso aka jonathan fatu uh hopefully his brother and his wife and his cousin slash uncle and his dad can talk to him and see what's going on because this can't keep happening wwe has let him slide all what three times i think it's four times total so the first three times WWE has let him slide, gave him minor punishments, you know, little suspensions and fines, but we'll see what happened. We'll see what WWE does with him because right now he's in the biggest storyline in WWE. He's right in the middle of it and it's really the best thing they have going. So I don't know what they're going to do with him, but um, shout out to the Usos, man. Hopefully everything is good with him. I'll give him a hand clap. Not for DUI, but just for, you know, just a shout out to the Usos. I'm a fan of the Usos. So that's what the hand clap was for. Um, hopefully, man, he gets it together. I really don't know what else to really say about it. Because I, I don't know any details on, on why he's drinking and why he hasn't been able to stop. So it, it is what it is. Hopefully, hopefully this is the wake up call for him before anything bad has happened outside of him getting a DUI like the guy was driving 50 miles per hour he was driving 50 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour lane and he ran a red light so that's how he got caught this time like I don't want to get up here a year later and then we see a post about somebody then innocent bystander got killed because a drunk wrestler was driving in Pensacola Florida like I don't want it to get to that point so so whoever needs to talk to Jimmy Uso, aka Jonathan Fatu, to talk to him, talk to him. So for real, because that's it's not a laughing matter. I, everybody that's joking on social media right now about it, it's not funny. It's not. I'm sorry. It's just not funny. It wasn't. They start bringing up Jeff Hardy stuff and joking about that. That's not funny either. Like Jeff Hardy really went through it back in the day. He really went through it back in the day to the point where he's in the main event title match with Sting, a legend. And he was so out of there, they had to just change the match. Like he literally couldn't even get five minutes in because he was out of there. That that's not that stuff is not funny, man. It's it's not funny. So shout out to Jeff Hardy for getting better. Now hopefully Jimmy can do the same thing before it gets out of hand. So moving right along. Next we got. <laughs> I'm I probably going to say it wrong. Shikari, Shikari. I don't know how she said. I'm sorry I, if I'm saying it wrong. But we got my fellow Carter graduate. Shout out to Carter Cowboys. Dallas Carter. I graduated from Carter. So we got Shikari, Shikari. I'm sorry if I said no. Richardson, Shikari Richardson. Um, message. That's your stream. It's frozen on your end. It's working just fine over here. We got Shakari Richardson that made it to the Olympics, running the 100. She's been setting records since high school. Um, she was named the fastest girl 
in Texas at when she was in high school. She was named the fastest girl. She's breaking all type of records. Went to LSU, broke all type of NCAA records, um, qualified for the Olympics. And then where it comes out that she failed the drug test. And yeah, she's been removed from running the 100 meter in the Olympics. So, um, uh, I got mixed emotions about it. Like I feel bad. I feel I'm upset that she did this because I was looking forward to seeing her versus the girl from Jamaica. That was pretty much the battle everybody was looking forward to. But at the same time, she's 21 years old. She was smoking weed in a place where it was legal. She just, people forget, she just lost her mother. Like, a week before she qualified. She lost her mother. And she hasn't been able to slow down at all because she's been having to qualify for the Olympics. So she's been having to train and run. Train and run. A 21-year-old that just lost her mother and she found out from a random reporter she found out from a random reporter like she didn't even find out from a family member which was trash she found out from a random reporter that she's never seen before and come in and tell her oh your mother just died but you know good luck on this next race that you got coming up like come on man how you think what you think is going to happen like and the fact that she was able to go out there and run do her interview uh, she did show emotion when she was talking about it, but she was like she's human like she goes through stuff She's been going through stuff and that people don't know about you know what I'm saying So I don't blame her for smoking weed. I am mad because She knew the rules She knew that was gonna get her You know removed from the Olympic race. So that sucks, but I mean she's 21. She'll be back She ain't gonna do nothing but get better I just hate it that she did all this to qualify. She went through all of this and then just blew it because of maybe an edible. I can't remember if they said it was an edible or she actually smoked a joint. But I think it, I think it was an edible, if I remember correctly. And, you know, it's just, it's all gone, just like that. So, so now you got people getting on here, you know, oh, they should let her run because it's not like she's doing crack. Um, she's not doing steroids, which there is a report out there that's trying to say that she is a steroid user. Lady, shut up. Seriously. This girl has been fast since really junior high. But she started getting known in high school, which most people do, especially when you're running for a school like Carter. Carter is a known school, and not just in Dallas. So they're definitely known for for their athletes and athletics and all that stuff so and so yeah she was breaking all type of records at the texas relay with lsu and dominated broke broke all type of records so yes she's been fast so anytime somebody in my opinion anytime a black woman gets some type of whatever advantage first thing come out is oh she she got muscles she's a man oh she this and that so she she on steroids stop so this girl been fast she's just a natural gifted athlete man she's just a natural athlete so just just cut all that other stuff out man just call it what it is she's an athlete so speaking of this uh steven jackson got on and said <laughs> he calls for a boycott basically if you didn't see the video he said all the black athletes should boycott the Tokyo Olympics. <laughs> hey, Steven Jackson, I get what you're trying to do. I appreciate what you're trying to do, Steven Jackson. But no, no, I'm sorry. If I was an athlete and I made the Olympics, I'm not doing that either. TLD, what's good, man? What's good? I'm sorry. I get what you're trying to do, Steven Jackson. I get it. But if I worked hard, the Olympics is only every four years, by the way. So that's a lot of time in between. If I worked my butt off to achieve a dream of making the Olympics, if I make it there, I'm going, yo. I I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going. And exactly, Lizard. 
if Shakari can't make it, Shakari, I always say her name wrong. If she can't make it, um, let all the other black people do their thing. He talking about, well, black people should take off and see what the Olympus go do without it. Uh, they go keep going. That's what's gonna happen, Steven. They go keep going, bro. They just go continue the Olympics with no black people. <laughs> so it's not gonna stop the Olympics. Now it might not be the same, but it's not gonna stop the Olympics. I'm sorry. So for all the black people that made it and worked their butt offs to get there, especially when it got pushed back a year, because this was supposed to happen last year. So that's another reason I feel bad for Shikari. Shikari, Shikari, however she say her name. That's another reason why I feel bad for her, because this should have happened last year anyway. But um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm if I'm an athlete and I made it to the Olympics, Steven Jackson, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> So for the people that's just joining, I'm going to go ahead and rewind a little bit. I started the podcast asking a question. Um, it wasn't that many people in here yet because you know how Twitch is. But I'm going to play this clip again. I said Dope Content Podcast. This episode was brought to you by LA Clippers fans who don't know how to take an L and fight each other in the stands. Watch this video. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut it short, but I got a question. <laughs> I normally don't post like fight videos on the podcast because I got plenty because fans been fighting nonstop, but I got a question. The first guy, who is he swinging at? The guy in the black or the guy behind him in the blue? Who's his first guy swinging at? Look at this. <laughs> let's, let's rewind that. He's swinging for his life. Who is he swinging at? Who's he trying to hit there? Is he trying to hit the guy in the black that's bent over in front of him, or is he trying to hit the guy in the blue? Or is he just swinging just to be swinging because he don't know how to fight? <laughs> Look at his face. And then this, this hammer hits, hammer fist. Hammer fist with the big can. <laughs> then watch this. Oh. Oh. Pushed him down. Did he get the middle finger to get some thrown at his face? <laughs> and that, guys, is exactly why you don't fight in the arenas, especially when the, the people you're fighting are above you. Because they can easily just push you down just like that. <laughs> so. Appreciate the people that came in and missed early. I appreciate y'all joining now. I had to rewind. I had to rewind for you before I kept it moving. <laughs> uh, moving on to the next topic. As you can see, my Dallas Cowboys. Shout out to them. Don't come in with no Cowboys hate people in the chat. We're not trying to hear it today. It's football season having you started. So, as you can see right here, the Dallas Cowboys are next in line to be on HBO Hard Knocks and I am not a fan of this happening um, honestly I'm not a fan not a fan because every time we're on Hard Knocks and we're we got the squad quotation marks to be a playoff team we end up sucking <laughs> so I'm not a fan of this but if I'm HBO I get it so the other contestants to be on Hard Knocks this season, it was between the Cowboys, the Broncos, the Cardinals, the Giants, and the Panthers. So with that said, with those being the teams, I completely see, I could, I could definitely see why they chose the Cowboys. Because, I mean, it's the Cowboys. People, if you want ratings, say what you want about the Cowboys. I don't care if you're a hater. Say what you want. If you want ratings... For a show, for an NFL show, you're going to put the Dallas Cowboys on that show over any other team. I don't care what you say. They're called America's team for a reason. And y'all know that's true. 
they call America's teams for a reason. And that's because they bring more ratings than anybody. Even if it's like people hating, they're still watching. And people are like, oh, I hate they they not America's team. They this and that. As long as you keep watching and talking about them, they are America's team. They like Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather get the most views out of any boxer because it's people that love him and it's people that really hate him and just want to see him lose and it never happens. <laughs> so as long as y'all talking about Floyd, as long as you talking about the Cowboys, they go forever be the top name in boxing and the top name in the NFL, AKA America's team. I'm just saying, I've been saying this for years, haters. If you don't like the Cowboys and you don't like them being called America's team, stop watching them. Stop talking about them. You can't watch an ESPN show during football season. You can't watch a Fox sports show during football season. Even when it's not football season, you can't watch a show without them bringing up the Cowboys, LeBron, and maybe Floyd Mayweather. Tell me I'm lying. And maybe Jordan now because they keep doing the LeBron versus Jordan debate. But you can't, LeBron has been put out the finals for so, what, a month now? Maybe longer? And they still skipping them, still talk about LeBron every day. Every day. <laughs> Skip and Shannon Sharp argue about LeBron on their show every single day. LeBron has been at home chilling with his family, going to his son's game, watching him do work. <laughs> and they still talk about LeBron every day. People on social media arguing about LeBron every day. That's what they do with the Cowboys. All on my social media, people arguing about Dak versus Josh Allen right now. And Dak doing this, and the Cowboys doing this, and the Cowboys doing that. So, with them being on HBO, I'm not a fan of it, but I completely get it. I completely get it. Um, HBO want ratings. The Cowboys is that team that's going to bring their ratings. So, shout out to the Cowboys, I guess, and HBO. I don't know. I'm not feeling that. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I actually got some topics today. Way more than the last pod- last podcast. Let me apologize now if you watch the last sports podcast. Um, I was out of there. Like, I was sleepy. I couldn't get my thoughts together. <laughs> so it wasn't my best. <laughs> but I appreciate the ones that watched anyway. And we still got the views on YouTube somehow. Um, still reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Hey, TLD, bro, I was stumbling over my words and everything, bro. I was I was out of that last podcast, dude. I was tired. I was just like Sunday. I was, I was working on three hours of sleep Sunday. And that turned out better just because I had my guy Darkness there. And then Smoke came in and joined. So shout out to Smoke. Appreciate the TLD. Appreciate the TLD. So let's keep it going. We got a picture of <laughs> Steve Kerr <laughs> with some goats, some baby goats, and with a picture of Michael Jordan and Kevin Durant faces on them. So the reason why I got this picture up is I meant to talk about this last podcast, sports podcast, when I said I was sleeping and forgot some stuff. Yeah, this is one of the things I forgot. Steve Kerr caused a big uproar by simply saying that Kevin Durant was more skilled. More skilled not a better overall player more skilled than michael jordan everybody went crazy how dare steve kerr say kd is better than jordan and uh, jordan is the goat and then you got lebron fans because lebron fans always got to put lebron in something even if he ain't in it and see this if kevin durant this he ain't lebron and lebron all that like oh my god bro. <laughs> just shut up like lebron fans i'm not even gonna go on a rant a full rant about them but when kd was going off and he airballed that last shot only thing i saw on my social media was well lebron this lebron that well lebron would have never done this lebron this lebron lebron's not even playing lebron has nothing to do with the milwaukee bucks beating the um brooklyn nets so why we talk why y'all talking about lebron i literally posted a photo of Kevin Durant because he got like a size 17 shoe and his like his foot is big and his toes are super long so I made a joke I said these long toes are the reason that they're not in the um Easter Conference Finals right now that's all I said guess what I saw on there 
Yeah, see, LeBron showed you that he can win the East easy. LeBron did this. LeBron did that. Bro, this photo has nothing to do with LeBron. LeBron is in the Western Conference. Now, he's not even in the East no more. Why are you talking about LeBron on a Kevin Durant post? But anyway, that's my little LeBron rant. Back to the topic at hand. <laughs> Steve Kerr said that Kevin Durant is more skilled than Michael Jordan. Honestly, I don't see why people got so mad about it. I actually agree. And I'm I'm one who thinks Michael Jordan is the GOAT. But I agree with this statement. He didn't say he was better. He said he's more skilled. And that's just facts, in my opinion, honestly. Because Kevin Durant can do everything Jordan can outside of maybe the, the hang time in the air. But Kevin Durant is seven foot tall. He's seven feet tall. Name another seven footer that can do the things Kevin Durant does. Kevin Durant is a seven foot guard <laughs> with handles like Jordan, and he could he could shoot better than Jordan. Honestly, he's a better shooter than Jordan. So I don't see the problem in what Steve Kerr said. He played with Jordan. He coached Durant. I don't see the problem in what he said. He said that Durant is more skilled. That's facts. Y'all got to remember, Jordan played in the 80s and 90s. If people in the 2000s and the 2020s are not more skilled at this point, we're not. We're doing something wrong here. If if the players are not more skilled at this point from somebody who's played in the 80s and 90s, they have to be more skilled. The game is pro progressing. They have to be more skilled. So I don't see what's so hard about that. You know, I, I don't understand the problem of Steve Kerr saying that so that's all I had to say about that Steve Kerr you're right everybody that's in their feelings about Jordan shut up stop arguing on social media about who's the best my generation was blessed to watch Jordan in his prom Kobe in his prom and LeBron in his prom and now we're seeing KD Kawhi Luka we're seeing the young guns coming up Luka Devin Booker who's in the finals Giannis I mean, come on, man. Trey Young. Like, what are y'all arguing about? Y'all need to be enjoying the greatness. Especially after, once Kobe died, I stopped arguing. That was it for me. So I was like, bro, we just lost this guy. Like, he's never coming back. We lost one of the greatest ever in Kobe Bryant. And I still can't get over that. So for the people, and I told people on Facebook, I said, you know, at this point, I'm done arguing. I'm learning to... I'm learning to enjoy the fact that I was able to see Jordan, um, Bron, and Kobe. And now Luca, Trey, Devin Booker, Giannis, and etc. I'm enjoying that. I'm not arguing no more about who's the GOAT, who's better, whatever. Y'all can have that. Moving right along. Speaking of young greats, Luca Dunch. I know y'all tired of me talking about him by now, huh? <laughs> Y'all should be tired. Y'all should be tired because I, I talk about Luca a lot lately. But that's my guy, man. Shout out to Luca Dunn. Um, so the reason I got Luca up on the screen right now is because he has led Slovenia, his country, to their very first Olympic appearance. So shout out to Luca. Now, speaking of people that's hating and talking down. I posted this about Luca, and people started saying, um, well, that ain't nothing. Yeah, that ain't saying much. It ain't like he won the Olympics. He, they just got there. Like, come on, bro. Y'all think it's that easy? Y'all think it's that easy just to get to the Olympics? Y'all think it's that easy? This guy did it his first try. His first try. He got Slovenia to the Olympics. I'm not saying they go win it, but he got him there. That's that's huge. That's huge. So y'all think it's easy and people like down talking Luca, all the Trey Young fans that magically popped out of nowhere want to down talk Luca, make um Trey look better for whatever reason. I'm like, just enjoy both. But you down talking Luca, so you like, oh that's easy. That ain't nothing. You know, Slovenia getting in the Olympics, that ain't nothing. All right, bet. Let's let's pull this up there. Team Canada has failed to qualify for the Olympics despite having more NBA talent than any other country other than Team USA. They had eight players that was eliminated by a last-minute bank jumper 
from a team who had who only had one NBA player. Team Canada has not made the Olympics since the year 2000 when Steve Nash was playing. <laughs> I thought it was easy though. I thought it was easy. Is it is it not easy? I thought it was easy. Luca Luca did it. I thought it was easy. But Canada who has a lot of NBA talent and got talented players. They haven't made it since 2000, since Steve Nash. But it's easy though, right? When I post about Luca getting Slovenia there for the first time, it's all of a sudden easy. <laughs> but this is proof right here that this is not an easy thing to do. Making it to the Olympics is not easy. So again, shout out to Luca. Now, do I think they're going to beat Team USA? No. Our Team USA should not lose at all with their roster they got. James Harden, KD, Dame Lillard, et cetera. They, they shouldn't lose to nobody, honestly. Unless somebody gets hurt, which I pray nothing happens to nobody. That's, you know, Team USA should not lose. So, but this is proof. I had to put this up for proof. You know, I like to, if I say something, I'm going to have proof. This is not easy. So shout out to Luca, shout out to Slovenia, and Team Canada. You know, just try next time. I don't, I don't know what else to say to you. Moving right along, <laughs> moving right along. We have the NBA Finals kicking off today between the Phoenix Suns and the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, I've been picking my brain all day trying to figure out who to choose for this uh, as my prediction to win. TLD said Bucks and Five. Uh, oh, Liz would say Bucks and Five. So this is what we go do. For the people that's watching, um, I'm going to post this on YouTube. You can put it here too, but I'm going to post this on YouTube as always. Make your prediction about the NBA Finals. Make the game prediction and the team. If you're right, I'll try to send you some more stuff, some more packages. It might be a dope shirt. It might be, it'll be something from dope content or it might be a gift card or something. It'll be something. So pick the, pick the team and pick the game that they're gonna win in. Alex says bucks and six. TLD said bucks and five. TLD, you tripping. On that one, you know Giannis is doubtful, right? I personally would like to see Giannis win. I would like to see Giannis win, but I just can't. I've been struggling with this one. I ain't gonna lie to you. I picked them to to um, beat Atlanta and beat Brooklyn, which they did. So shout out to the Bucks for that. But. I'm struggling to pick them over Phoenix. Like I said last um, last podcast, I said it, it might be Giannis time, but looking at it, it just might be Chris Paul time. Like, it just might be Chris Paul time. Listen, you got to pick either six or seven. <laughs> can't, can't have two games, man. <laughs> so uh, it just might be CP3 time. And the reason I say that, I'll say it again, is because... They played the Lakers, Anthony Davis was hurt. They played the Denver Nuggets, Jamal Murray was hurt. They got to the Clippers, Kawhi got hurt. Now, they're in the finals against the Bucks, and Giannis might not even play the first game because Giannis got hurt last series. So, that's the advantage right there, and they got the home court advantage. So, with that said, I might have to go with the Phoenix Suns. And seven. What's up, Don, man? Appreciate you coming through and watching. I might have to go with the Phoenix Suns and say, what? It's a ball fade. What you mean? What's up with my haircut? What's wrong with you? Ball fade, sir. How ball fade? What you mean? Come here talking noise, Don. Get up out of here with this. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to have to go with the Phoenix Suns in seven. Just because I don't think Giannis is going to play tonight. And that's the advantage right there. Chris Paul is determined. This is his first NBA Finals ever. I think he's 
it just might be his time honestly it just might be so with that in mind i'm going with phoenix and seven either way i'll be good honestly because I, I don't mind either team winning the bucks making the finals for the first time since 1974 uh phoenix making the finals for the first time in since 1993 so it's good to see some fresh faces and different teams so shout out to that shout out to that uh, but phoenix and seven yeah whatever Don. let me see your haircut buddy uh phoenix and seven moving right along speaking of somebody who don't mind either way this guy tory craig who plays for the phoenix suns he's a he's already nba champion because it don't matter which team wins because he played 18 games for the bucks and that means he automatically qualifies for a ring if the bucks win <laughs> and to me this is something that needs to be changed in my opinion like this this is a rule that needs to be changed for this reason alone it's too many people getting cheap rings right now um it's ridiculous 18 games like you got traded bro you you got traded or cut i can't remember what happened to him and then no matter who wins he might not even well he actually he actually does play for phoenix so i give him that but even if phoenix lose this man is still getting the title he's still getting the ring <laughs> Like he might, he might mess around and run into the court. He might mess around and run into the court and celebrate with the Bucks after the Bucks win. <laughs> so he be like, "Hey, I'm still a champion anyway. I'm still a champ anyway." So hey, I mean, I don't know. I don't like this rule. I don't like this rule. I think it should be changed. You say you letting your hair grow out? That's what's up, Don. Uh this rule needs to be changed, man. I don't, I, I don't know what else to say about it i, I don't like it <laughs> i think it's i think it's dumb i think it's dumb um but yeah i'll let y'all comment how y'all feel about that but tory craig is a champion so shout out to tory craig no matter what happens so yeah what whatever happens tory craig is going to be good either way <laughs> so we might see him celebrating with both teams we'll we'll see speaking of um Let's keep it going with the finals. We almost done with the episode. I appreciate everybody that came through on Twitch. Everybody that will be watching it when I post it on YouTube. Everybody that's listening when I post it on Spotify and Apple. Shout out to y'all. Make sure you subscribe and follow dope content on all social media platforms. What up, darkness? Um, we on Twitter. We're on discord even though i don't use it that much um we're on facebook we're on youtube of course and we're on instagram so make sure you follow dope content now let's move on to the last topic of the day which is rachel nichols has been removed as a sideline reporter for the nba finals she will be replaced by malika andrews <laughs> So, I don't know if y'all know what happened and why this is happening, but I'm going to give you the rundown. Uh, Rachel Nichols, the lady on the left, the Caucasian lady, she then went kind of viral for some a leaked audio, I guess it was a phone conversation with, with another reporter from ESPN, which she was stating that, um, what's the lady name? Hold on. I think I forgot her name. I forgot her name. Uh, Maria Taylor, a, another black lady. So Rachel Nichols, the lady on the left, for the people who don't know, the, the Caucasian lady, um, has audio that leaked of her saying that Maria Taylor, who is a black lady, the only reason she got her job to host the um, NBA Finals last year was because she's a black woman. That audio leaked of her saying that about Maria Taylor. The only reason that she got the job to host the NBA uh, finals last year is because she's a black woman 
and ESPN was feeling pressure to have more diversity. That's that's what she said. Yes, that's that's what she said. So that audio came out. Um, ESPN, you know, you know, people. First of all, black people are going to go crazy. We're 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 just tired of, you know, the BS that goes on. We're just tired of the BS that goes on. But <laughs> I'm trying to keep my words because I don't want to offend nobody. Uh, we're just tired of the mess that goes on and the stuff that's said about us and stuff that we deal with that other races just don't know about. For example, I was driving to a show Saturday, Saturday night in at North Dallas. And as I'm driving, I'm going speed limit. I got the seatbelt on, all my lights working, everything. I'm using turn signals, everything. He say Vince McMahon about to hire. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so I'm driving. A cop on the freeway decides that he's gonna follow me and tailgate me for a mile. And he couldn't he couldn't pick me up. Like he couldn't pull me over because for speed or lights or seatbelts. So he tailed me for a mile, over a mile. Like no matter where I turned, he turned. No matter what exit I took, he took. I didn't even take the right exit on purpose to see if he was following me. He was reading my plates to see if I had any type of warrants. And I'm looking at the rearview mirror the whole time. And as soon as he realized he couldn't pull me over for nothing, he literally banged his steering wheel and did a hard U-turn. Like he was mad because he couldn't pull me over. And that's not the first time that's happened. Especially in North Dallas for me. I don't like driving in North Dallas for that reason alone. So, uh, because that's not the first time. So, I actually got arrested in North Dallas for that same reason. But that's another story. (laughs) But yeah, that's the type of stuff, you know, black people deal with that other races don't normally deal with. So, and the fact that, the fact that she said that Maria Taylor got the job for being black a black woman that's just hilarious to me because i'm sorry y'all think black men got it rough um black women got it even worse than us i've never until until this this is the first time i've ever heard ever in my life i'll be 34 in august it's the first time i've heard ever that a black woman got the job because she's a black woman (laughs) i've never heard that before in my life until this (laughs) <laughs> that's the first time I've ever heard that so that's that's just hilarious you in the discord alright done so uh that was I found that funny honestly I didn't even get mad I was too busy laughing at that comment cause trust me nobody has it worse out here than a black woman cause the fact that she's black and she's a woman black men got it bad but black women man they go through it trust me i've seen it black women go through it yo so shout out to them uh i'm not a hater even with rachel nichols saying this i'm not a rachel hater or nothing like that um she did it she did claim i'm gonna I'm say apology with quotation marks if you're watching uh, i'm gonna go ahead and play that and i'm gonna see what y'all think about that apology that she gave So the first thing they teach you in journalism school is don't be the story. And I don't plan to break that rule today or distract from a fantastic finals. But I also don't wanna let this moment pass without saying how much I respect, how much I value our colleagues here at ESPN, how deeply, deeply sorry I am for disappointing those I hurt, particularly Maria Taylor, and how grateful I am to be part of this outstanding team. Well, Rachel, I want to say thank you. Thank you for accepting responsibility for your actions. You know, as someone that has known you for a long time, you know, being around you, you have treated me with the utmost respect, and you always made me feel comfortable in your presence. Um, And I know your heart. You know, great person, great individual. Um, I also know Maria Taylor, um, great person as well. Very, very talented, hardworking, and I feel like she also deserves every opportunity that is presented her way. My only hope is that we have a commitment overall to support each other through this process and continue to support each other through our journey. 
No, I, I agree with Perk. Let me first say this. I fully support Maria Taylor. I've worked with her since I joined ESPN at Get Up and Countdown, and I, I've known Rachel for 20 years. Rachel and our entire group here have had some very difficult conversations over this time period, uh, and those conversations don't end here. We will continue to have uncomfortable conversations. No one ex is excused. She is not excused. I am not excused, Perk. Uh, this doesn't just go away, but we have to learn and understand it and become better for each each other uh, and, and really through our actions more than anything and, and that is our responsibility and we all have a role in that and that's something that I, I take pride in and I hold to myself and everyone to a very high standard. Well thank you guys both for being with me here today. Thank you everyone out there for being with us here today. Just below us is media day here at the NBA Finals. The Suns and Bucks getting ready to address what is one of the biggest moments of so many players' careers. We will have all of the sound, all of the action for you. Welcome to the jump. Yeah, so that was her apology. That was her apology right there. Uh, how long ago was audio recorded? I think it was recorded last year during the finals and it just came out this year. So, <laughs> I yeah she didn't say nothing she really didn't say nothing at all I thought I was missing something so I wanted y'all to see it to see if I missed something she she didn't say nothing to me like she gave a BS apology because ESPN forced her to she didn't mean that she didn't mean that she just got on that deal with ESPN and said and then they put the right people they put Kendra Perkins y'all know I talk trash about him all the time because how he act on ESPN and Richard Jefferson, the most yellow bone dude ever, man. Like, <laughs> so that's that's who they had. It wasn't Matt Barnes, it wasn't Trace McGrady, and you know it wasn't none of them. It wasn't no Stephen Jacksons on up there with her. Because I felt like they would have said something different from what Perk and Richard Jefferson said. Uh, so exactly, Liz, she would have never brought it up. She would have never brought it up if audio didn't came out. It's been over a year. She didn't apologize then. She apologized now because she had to. She's exposed. So that's that's trash to me. The apology was whack. Uh, and yeah, and that's why she's, you know, replaced. <laughs> that's why she was replaced. <laughs> and replaced by Malik Andrews. Malika Andrews. And I'm not mad at that at all. I like Malika Andrews way better than um Rachel Nichols on the sideline anyway. So I would take that. And the NBA players, I'm sure, feel the exact same way. So, she meant what she said, exactly. Um, yeah, and that's, that is what it is. So, appreciate everybody coming through. Let's get your, for the people that's joined late, let's do a quick recap of today's episode. It was brought to you by Clippers fans who don't know how to take an L. And a guy swinging at everybody. <laughs> And the, the hammer fist. We're gonna watch that one more time. Let's let's finish it. So yeah, that was that was the beginning, and then we talked a little bit, which I normally was gonna say for wrestling, but I had to talk about it today. We talked about Jimmy Uso getting arrested again for his. Um, third he said it was at Goldberg <laughs> Jimmy Uso got arrested again Monday for another DUI and um, you know people people laughing about it on social media at this point it's not funny honestly so I gave my thoughts on that it's, it's, it's really not funny and somebody needs to like get a hold of him before it's too late and we end up seeing something on TMZ saying a wrestler a drunk wrestler was has killed somebody you see what i'm saying like we don't need to get to that point so it's not funny uh so we went from there we talked about shakari richardson shout out to her she's missing the olympics failed the drug test uh smoking weed she just found out her mother died she hasn't had time to even sit down and she didn't even make excuses she didn't make excuses she owned up to it. She know what she did. She said, I know what I did. I messed up. It is what it is. So she owned up to it like a grown woman, even at 21 years old, with the spotlight on her since she was in high school. Shout out to Carter. You see the Carter Cowboys. I'm a Carter Cowboy. 
So shout out to Carter Cowboys. Dallas Carter. So um yeah, she owned up to it. Steven Jackson got on here saying people should boycott black people should boycott the Olympics. No. <laughs> that's that's not gonna happen. I see what you're trying to do, but that that just don't make sense. That don't make sense. So and then we talked about the Cowboys being on hard knocks. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I told you why I'm not a fan of it. They have a bad history with being on hard knocks or even the, the, the Amazon thing they did. They were supposed to go to the playoffs that year and they sucked. So I don't like it when training camp is exposed. I don't like it. They normally suck when it happens. Then we talked about KD and Michael Jordan. Steve Kerr said KD is more skilled than Michael Jordan. I don't see the problem there. Jordan fans went crazy. LeBron fans somehow managed to put LeBron in the conversation who had nothing to do with LeBron. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, yeah, I, I, you know, I got to find some pictures of. I got to entertain some people somehow, man. And then we talked about Luke against um, Slovenia to the Olympics for the first time in history on his first try. And then to back up the Luka hype, for the haters that were saying, oh, getting to the Olympics is easy. It's winning the Olympics. Okay. Team Canada, they haven't made it since 2000. So for the people that are saying it's easy to do what Luca just did, it's not. It's not. And they have the second most NBA players on the roster. They haven't made it since 2000. So that was proof right there. We gave our NBA Finals prediction. You're right, Lizard. We gave our NBA Finals prediction. Um, if you want to leave the comments on YouTube or on my Twitch, um, I'm, you know what? I'm going to start using Discord. I just have to. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry for the ones that's been waiting on me to use Discord. I'm going to start using it. I'm, I'm going to figure it out and actually get on it. So, um, If you want to leave a comment on which team is going to win the Finals and which game, if your prediction is right, I'll send you something. It'll be some type of dope content merch or it might be gift cards whichever one i could get to you the quickest so it might be like an amazon gift card like i do for the points or it just might be dope content shirt of your choice um something whatever i could get to you you know the quickest so oh def definitely darkness you know i'll be i need to watch the videos that you sent uh by the way Don said respect to her for taking responsibility. Oh, yeah. Facts. So leave your comments, your predictions for the NBA Finals, either on my YouTube, my Twitch. Um, that way I can have you saved for sure. So. Oh, yeah. You right, Lizard. So I might just feel like sending out merch anyway, though. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And then we talked about Tory Craig who really doesn't, it doesn't matter who win the finals because this guy's a champion already because he played for both teams and he played 18 games for the Bucks and now he's playing for Phoenix. So no matter who wins, this guy gets a ring anyway. <laughs> so they need to change that rule because that, that that's pretty trash. <laughs> that's pretty trash. He might be seen celebrating with both teams. And then we talked about, of course, Rachel Nichols being replaced. Shout out to that. <laughs> oh, wrong button hand clap for that right done and then you know she Tri gave her apology which I'm not going to play again but it was whack it was whack and that's that's been the whole show so I appreciate y'all coming through live on Twitch um, everybody that's watching on YouTube when it gets over there appreciate you guys appreciate the Spotify listeners Apple listeners make sure to tell your friends if you know somebody that likes sports and want to you know if you feel like they should check out the podcast please tell them about it um if you're on audio spotify and apple please leave you know a review or i think they do star rankings i believe on i think they do star rankings on apple podcast so if you if you could please leave a good review and some star rankings on that i appreciate it um much love to everybody. Follow Dope Content on all social media platforms. Um, Darkness, I'm still... Oh, so another announcement. So, I don't know if you know about it, if y'all know about it, but the Federation VIP Wrestling, which JTG is the champion of right now, JTG from Crime Time, 
actually talked to their owner last night. He texted me, and we had a phone conversation last night. So I might be working with um, VIP Wrestling out here in Dallas. So keep your hands, you know, you know, keep hope up for that 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 happens because that could be another opportunity for us to get into some more stuff. I'm actually. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this on stream or not, so I'm not going to say that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say the other part. So, because I don't know if I'm supposed to say that on stream or not, so I'm not going to say that. But, let's just hope and pray that that goes through. So, I'm trying my best. Like, when I say I reach out to as many people as possible to either get people on the podcast, me in darkness, or just to try to get, like, opportunities, sponsors. Yo, I don't be, I don't play around, yo. I send so many emails and stuff to people that y'all don't know behind the scenes. I get a whole bunch of maybes. I get a whole bunch of people that say they'll get on, like Jay, Jay Lethal, and Paige. I'm, I'm sorry, not Paige, Lita. And then when we try to set up a date, they disappear, or they be like, oh, just give me a little more time and this and that. Yo, I, like I do that on a daily, and that's added with playing music. And going to work so and dealing with kids and miss dope and all that so it's a lot of work going into this man that y'all really don't know about so for the people that do come through on everything i definitely appreciate y'all i can't say it enough man like seriously because like you guys the even if it's a handful like now i think it's only like seven people in here now and then when i post on youtube i guess more people go over there but even with the seven to nine people here now like i appreciate y'all y'all keep me going the seven to nine people that constantly come in like that so appreciate y'all people the people that listen on spotify people that's retweeting the uh, because the podcast from sunday they it's a clip that i posted talking about naomi me darkness and the smoke was talking about naomi winning the money in the bank and that has been reposted retweeted a couple of times my notifications have been going crazy so people seem to like that idea that we came up with sunday so uh hopefully we can keep that vibe going too on on twitter on twitter so twitter is like not the easiest thing to grow on but <laughs> y'all yeah I, I just appreciate y'all man i can't say it enough i know y'all probably get tired of hearing the same thing but i really do appreciate y'all i can't say it enough Everybody that ever showed love, brought merch, brought a shirt, went to the website, anything. Like, I appreciate y'all more than y'all ever know. Like, the real ones. So, I was going to do a watch along the knife NXT, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the second page. And we're going to actually watch the show over there. So, later on tonight, about another hour or so, join me over there, and we'll, we'll watch Great American Bash. Oh, for the people that missed the Sunday, I need y'all predictions. Um, I need to get in the Discord, uh, Darkness. I saw you post it uh, where, so they can leave a prediction. So I need to get in there and see who said what. And I'm going to check my YouTube again to make sure, you know, I take care of whoever get everything right tonight as well. So definitely will be going. Definitely will be um, streaming it. And we get our predictions. So shout out to y'all, man. Y'all be safe. I'll catch y'all on the second page a little bit later. And y'all have a great one until then, man.